Facebook research has been quite active on the topic of AI computer vision the past few years. On top of that, they actually consistently update most of their major open source projects, which provides a lot more possibilities for further development and bug fixes to support other studies around it, which is absolutely amazing. So some really interesting work was produced like the video depth awareness and body estimation from images, which are all AIs that has been developed throughout this period. As controversial as Facebook is, they still have some pretty amazing contributions to the open source realm, and researchers can develop better tools faster to assist us humans in the future. A few weeks ago, an implementation emerged and in my opinion, it has a very bright future. It is called Frank Mocap, a strong and potentially easy to use single view 3D hand plus body pose estimator. From the name of the implementation, it tells us that this AI can do motion capture with only one single perspective. And you might wonder, oh, this technology has existed ages ago. Why is this new and deserves such a big praise? Well, let me tell you. Most of the technologies that can do motion capture are either captured with multiple inputs like a body suit plus cameras or multiple cameras. This AI only requires one single video input, which means only one perspective is being taken as an input. And it can do some pretty successful motion capturing without much hassle. Also, this AI can have both body motion capture and hand motion capture at the same time. As you can see here, the results from the official demo is shockingly accurate. I am not denying the existence of other pose estimation AI, but this one has been the one that impressed me the most. And actually, let's find out together how exactly good it is at motion capturing. But before that, I just want to say that I am sorry that I can only run the body motion capture function because there were some unknown issues that I couldn't bypass. For those who are not as familiar with the AI stuff, most AIs are designed on computer systems like Linux, so sometimes there will be compatibility issues when running on Windows. While there are technically workarounds for Windows users such as the Windows subsystem for Linux, but it did not work out this time sadly. Anyways, Frank Mocap actually relies on several other pre-existing AIs like the Tektron 2, which I couldn't run, is an object detection AI, and in this case, which is used to detect hands and the body separately, as you can see marked with the squares here. And some other realistic human bodies capture AIs like SMPL and SPIN, and also lightweight human pose estimation, but there are still some issues that are still really obvious after some testing. First of all, the most obvious problem that still exists is that the glitching of the body is just too obvious. It has improved though compared to older AIs. Second, the AI cannot interpret the arm movements that go behind the back of the body. From this dancing video, you can see that it just glitches out and the 3D model of the arms are just stuck in front of the 3D model. Third, rapid body movements are still pretty difficult to fully capture. For this example, the gymnastics athlete is orientating but the AI is struggling to keep it up. But these are like the edge cases of model detection so maybe a benefit of doubt. Okay, I know I like to take sympathy on those imperfections in those new AI papers, but of course only when the imperfections are fixed, then we know that a state-of-the-art AI has been created. On the other hand, don't you think these randomly appearing 3D models are hilarious? <laughs> But surprisingly, this AI is able to track multiple people in the background, and not only that, for some, it is able to predict that these people are sitting down when their legs are not shown. To sum up, this is definitely a good tool that I can see used by the recent trend of VTubers or even just to chill in VR chat with your full body captured. I don't know why you would do that, but at this pace of AI development, it is just like what 2 minute papers would say. Two more papers down the line, we will be stonks forever. And of course, we will need a binary build. And today's sponsor is Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit and reach out at infinite.red. Okay, it has really been a pain to run this AI. Not only just getting it to work on Windows is a pain, but 
struggling to bypass something that you don't even know if you can bypass really puts a smile on your face anyways thank you guys for watching as usual check out my discord and my twitter to get updates on my occasional mental breakdowns and check out my patreon if you feel kind and want to support me to get my linux computer sooner and i'll see you all next time